Happy Halloween, everybody. We are dressed as sunny angels. Look at me. I used to be a hater. <laughs> Look at me now. <laughs> when I met Alicia, and you were my ride or die, my enabler for sure. And it's just so much fun. Uh, you assisted in a burglary? <laughs> so you have to understand. He went that way. You have to understand. I didn't mean to. The following podcast is a Dear Media production. Basic. Happy Halloween, everybody. Woo! Welcome back to Pretty Basic. I'm your co-host, Remy Cruz. I thought you were a frog. Oh, I'm your co-host, Frog. And I'm your co-host, am I cat? I think so. Yeah, you're definitely cat. I'm the kitty cat. Mm-hmm. And if you're Yay! really not watching the YouTube version, I know a lot of you are commuting and I just want to say thank you so much for even telling us that sometimes we make your day, but I, I will say we will make your day so much better if mm -hmm. you see what we look like right now. Yep. Um, we it, are bleeding out for the craft today. We went all out last year for our Halloween episode. Spooktacular <gasps> extravaganza. Oh that was a year ago that was already. was a year ago. We did Alphaba and Glenda. Oh my God. And I remember thinking, oh my God, it's not gonna come out for a year still. Isn't it crazy how fast time flies? No, time is an illusion of our minds. It, I mean, time is a social construct as one thing. But like when you dive into that side of thinking, it can be, sorry, I just looked up at the monitors and I didn't see myself. <laughs> We're camouflaged <laughs> today. We are dressed as sunny angels. You may see some here on the set with us. Yes, obviously uh, they've been very prevalent in our lives this year. And so we felt as though it was a good idea to wear, to go all out also. So I was so graciously given these gorgeous costumes by Sunny Angel USA themselves. Thank you to Sunny Angel USA. They have seen all of my posts about them. And I believe that the movement has been- Oh, the movement's been moving. I have to assume that maybe some of my TikToks that picked up some traction encouraged other people to try Sunny Angels as well. Remy, you, between you and Bretman alone, I would, I would actually like, the, what I would do to find out how much you guys have like made sales for Sunny Angels. How much love angels. we've shared uh, of Sunny look Angels. Look at me, I used to be a hater. <laughs> look at me now. <laughs> look at me now. I they used to be a Sunny please. Angel hater. I was like, I walked into your car. You have these little like- Cherubs. You have these little cherub cherubs. looking things with no clothes. And I'm like, what is this Remy? Like, it's not cute. I'm sorry. In my head, I was like, mm, <laughs> like <laughs> look at me now. <laughs> Literally look at me. I get excited for the unboxings. I, I still want a Robbie. Uh, you know what? I love it. Oh, you don't have a Robbie. I don't have a Robbie. I do have, have a, a secret Robbie. though. And it is on yours. It's my keychain. I have opened up three Robbies, but I also have opened up about 70 times as many as you have. So like it, it's, it's just, it's luck no. and it's chance. No, it really what I don't is. appreciate is me spilling my heart out saying that I've never had a secret Robbie Sunny Angel and you just say you've had seven. I said three. Um, that's like hurtful, Remy. <laughs> okay. We I get apologize. It. We get it. We get it. <laughs> we get it. I'll share one with you. <laughs> I pulled a dachshund I know, for you the other day. Uh, you did? Did you not watch my TikTok? Wait, I didn't. Well, I was see, trying to find. Me? Um, no, but they the secret. But a real friend would watch the whole TikTok even if they weren't tagged, huh? A secret <laughs> for the dog series is a Doberman. I was calling it a Rottweiler, a Doberman, but and it looks like Rosie. So I was trying to pull it for you, but then they got a dachshund. So either way, I was thinking of maybe painting her to look like Rosie for oh, you, how cute. but. All in all, you can have a Robbie too. Um, and we you. are dressed as sunny angels today. I think a lot of people are gonna be sunny angels for Halloween. Yeah, but they're gonna but be like slutty sunny angels. They're gonna angels. be the cute version. Yeah, like in a cute yeah. dress, or like a two piece set would be really, really cute. Really cute, like really cute. Mm -hmm. um, but in like, you know, in girl world, Halloween is an excuse. Yep, to dress like a slut and no one can judge you for it. Um, but why, when you can look like a cute little sunny angel, why wouldn't you want to wear a nude morph suit yeah. and just go full out? Yeah. You know? You know, I'm going to be so honest. I've always wanted to wear a morph suit. Me too. It's comfier than I thought. I like it. I like the gloves. Mm -hmm. And yes, uh, we are here to support any sort of costume, any sort of sunny angel. If you want to look cute, power to you. If you want to look crazy in a morph suit, power to you. If you want to be the monkey, power to you. If you want to be the cat, more power to you. Yes. If you want to be the hippo, is there a hippo? Mooding. Mooding. <laughs> I think there is a hip. There is a hippo. Oh, sorry, I, I saw the elephant. I said hippo. Oh there my God. There is a hippo. But we are here to just share the Halloween joy this year. One thing, I keep seeing this online and it's so funny because I've been a girl who just like loves 
playing with all sorts of toys ever since I was you a kid. You love trinkets. I love a trinket. I love a knickknack. I love a toy. I love Toys R Us. I love Target. Like I love all of the, the I just like playing with stuff. I think it's really fun. Um, and so I know I'm sure a lot of people watch my my unboxings and think uh, you're almost 30. Why are you screaming and jumping about a toy? No, I understand. That's weird. Why would anyone judge anyone else like that though? True, but also... I see these TikToks and it actually like feeds something in my soul. And it's like, uh, it shows like a little, you know, like a little girl, like a teenager, like a young girl who's like just trying to grow up as fast as she can. And, you know, oh, I'm an adult, you want to wear makeup. Uptown girls. Similar to Uptown yeah. Girls, yes. But like you want to wear makeup, you want to just like, you know, you want to grow up as fast as you can. You want to be an adult and you want your parents to like leave you alone. And then it like swipes and whether it's Brittany Murphy or it's like, it's like, it's like a big meme now where it's like um, a girl who's in her thirties or like late twenties, thirties, whatever it is. And it's like buying little trinkets mm -hmm. and like, bows. you know, having fun, yeah, bows and just like trying to, to feel, feel something again yeah. because we like, we rushed and also kids now are rushing even faster to grow up. And I just like a little part of me, I mean, I've always loved it, but also just a little part of me, like wants to slow down life and I love the fun that it brings and I just love it so much. So thank you for honoring the sunny angels with me today. And uh, thank you for saying yes to dressing up and wearing a morph suit with me. Again, look how far I've come. It didn't take much. You much would have had, to, I would have been coaxing to be honest. <laughs> oh, I was it like done, <laughs> down, let's do it. Um, I did notice something though and I'm slightly offended too because I didn't know you were a, a married sunny angel. Yeah, I am. Uh-huh. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to be a single sunny angel. I thought all uh, sunny angels were single. <laughs> okay, fine. No, I'll, no, no, no. Don't lose that ring. Put it on your finger right it's now. Fine. Put it on your damn finger right now. <laughs> it's squeezing. Honestly, I'm losing circulation because we're wearing double morph suits because uh, I didn't know they were going to be so sheer. No, I'm very glad you got two because it's already sheer, uh -huh. let alone, I'm really hoping we don't get flagged or demon. We filmed so many TikToks before this. So please go support, um, the cause of yes. our TikToks that we did film like 20 mm -hmm. um, before. Mm -hmm. But wow, um, it's been so long. Should we just get into the real episode? I think we should. <laughs> What's been new, girl? What's up? What's happening? Well, I, sorry, I keep seeing myself in the reflection it, and it's, I like blend in. Like I don't see me. Also, we're not wearing headphones because obviously we, we have our hats on. I guess we could put the headphones on underneath our hats. I'm going to try because I feel... I feel weird when I'm not wearing headphones. Things have been good. I know last week we had Bella Porch on the podcast, iconic. A fellow Sunny Angel lover. Yes, go watch that episode too. Wow, I just feel like there's been so much happening in the pretty basic universe lately. When I don't have the headphones on, I feel like I'm performing for an audience. See, when I don't have the headphones on, I just feel like I hear my thoughts more. But like with the headphones on, I don't. In a good way. I, I don't like, hear my thoughts. See, when I have the headphones on, I'm like, it's just you and me, bitch. You're, We're locked in. <laughs> but it's funny because with the frog, it actually like works. Ribbit, ribbit. It looks like the mouth is just so <laughs> big. I love this. Anyways, okay. You have been, I feel like I've been really good lately. I feel like lately I've just been trying to be, I've been trying to, it's, I saw this TikTok that it meant so much and it was saying how perspectives everything and so many people, if they had like 12 reshares or reposts from my friend. So I was like, oh my God, this must be really good. Let me watch it. it had 3 million likes. And it was saying how perspective is everything. Like the restaurant that you just happen to go to a random weekday night is one that people like save up for months and only go to on their birthdays or like something like that. And then it was, or it was like the, um, the job that you're complaining going to work up to right now is one that people would like die to have. Like she was going through this whole list of just different perspectives that really change your mind. And I was like, that is so true. Like perspective is everything. Speaking of last year, this time, I remember being in such a good headspace and I forgot, I always used to do my little like, every single day I would say, have like a little gratitude list of like five things I'm thankful for. And I was in such a routine that it didn't matter if it was in the morning or at night, I would always remember it. And just mentally, I didn't even write it down. And I would like spend time on it. And I felt like that made such a good mental space for me. And I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, wow, it's been so long since I've done that. I want to get back to that. So I'm just trying to be in my grateful and grounded and gratitude era again. I know that's cringy to say. I love that. I know. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like it's so easy to be in your head. And like, I feel like I've been coming out of a depressive episode for like a little bit, but like the past few nights I've been going to bed and I've been looking forward to the next day. <laughs> Hasn't happened in a minute. Wait, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Like before I would be so excited to go to bed so I could like dream. 
and like kind of like oh like I can take like a break. take a break from the day or like life for a second you know and lately I've just been like oh tomorrow's like pretty basic I'm excited or like oh tomorrow's that like and that it's been so long so yeah that's amazing and we talked about this recently but you did up your meds I upped my meds um and you know, sometimes the psychiatrists know what they're doing. Who sometimes a doctor can be Who right. Who would have thought? Sometimes. Sometimes. sometimes, sometimes um, no, sometimes I feel very right. grateful. I love my therapist and my doctor. Um, and they're both, they both, they both work together. Well, they like refer people to each other. So I just feel like it's a really good um, system we have going on. That's amazing. And yeah. things have been good. It sounds like then mental health is, is on the up. Yeah, up. no. So that's been good. I've been overthinking so much less, which is crazy. And just like doing what feels natural versus like overthinking even like sending texts, it's like the most exhausting thing to- It sounds debilitating. Yes, that's the perfect word. Um, but yeah, so overall things have been really good. Um, Ashley moved out since the last time, I think I gave an update on my life here. So I'm living alone again. It's scary <gasps> to alone say, diaries. but I'm actually like really enjoying it. And I think it's helping me just have like that downtime to like decompress a little bit. Does it feel different from the first time when she moved out? Yeah, it's so much more comfortable. I think because now I've, it, like I'm not scared to be home. Um, the house is a literal like fortress. So I feel super safe in it. Um, you know what, you know what though? Rosie's been sad. <gasps> She's been feeling lonely. She's been, I can tell she misses, she doesn't like the change. And it's funny cause she doesn't even really like Chloe. Like they like tolerate each other. They're not best friends, but I'm like, you miss Chloe. I'm like, you miss Chloe and you miss Ashley. Well, maybe you could get her another friend. I think maybe in the future, but for right now, um, appreciate the peace. Appreciate the peace. Mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Life is worth living. You in the morning now. <laughs> <laughs> Remy, I wake up out of bed. Life, Life is, is worth, worth living. living. But I want to hear how you're doing. Oh my gosh, I am very good. Thank you for asking. I am um, getting off the, just finishing off a little week of being sick, but I am back and I am thriving. And I actually had a very exciting morning this morning. And can I can actually, I can speak about it right now <gasps> oh because God. it's actually out by the time that this episode comes out. You, okay guys, I'm back to talk about my favorite thing garlic no but you know that garlic has been pretty much my favorite thing in the world i can eat it raw i can cook it with it i, I just i love it so much and i've been using smart mouth mouthwash to help me just kind of clear up my garlic breath after i'm eating copious amounts for lunch dinner all the time i just rinse in the morning and my breath stays fresh for the entire day no matter what i eat it's seriously been such a relief if you guys love garlic like me or coffee breath or anything like that and you're constantly running around with a busy schedule, you know how important it is to feel fresh all day long, especially when you've got back-to-back -back plans. What I love about Smart Mouth is that it's not just your average mouthwash. Smart Mouth is the only mouthwash scientifically proven to eliminate and prevent bad breath for 24 hours with just two rinses a day. I rinse in the morning and I'm good for the entire day. I don't need to worry about mints or gum halfway through the day anymore. It's so nice not to even think about it. And if I have an evening event or dinner out, a quick rinse before I go and I'm totally set. Also, let me tell you about the coolest part. Smart Mouth has this dual chamber bottle that keeps two solutions separate. You pour them into the cap, mix them together, and then that's where the magic happens. The zinc technology, which I love zinc, kicks in and literally eliminates bad breath before it even starts. It's not just masking the problem, it's stopping it. I've tried other mouthwashes, but this one lasts 12 times longer than anything I've used before. It's also not just about the science, although fun fact, Smart Mouth was developed by a dentist, so you know it's legit. It's also just super, super convenient. So if you guys want to keep your breath fresh and feel confident all day long, you can find Smart Mouth at CVS, Walgreens, and Walmart, or you can head over to www.smartmouth.com slash pretty basic for a special discount on your next purchase. That's www.smartmouth.com slash pretty basic. Trust me, your mouth will thank you. Okay, you guys know staying hydrated all day is a must for me, whether I'm working, filming, or just living life. And let's be real, I don't love when I have to think too hard about it. That's why I've been loving Gatorade's Hydration Booster. It's perfect for keeping me refreshed and energized without being too much, no matter what's on my plate for the day. I love that it's packed with electrolytes with natural sources. Think like watermelon juice, sea salt, and other sodium and potassium salts. Like, when I saw that, I was sold. You guys know I love electrolytes. I love a little fun thing that I can add to my drink just to make it, you know, extra delicious. And it's formulated to help you stay hydrated without overloading on sodium or sugar, which is a huge, 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 huge win in my book. Honestly, I used to use a lot of electrolyte packets, but with the Gatorade Hydration Booster, it just feels lighter and it's got way fewer calories. There's only 30 per serving. And compare that to other electrolyte drinks that have 45 calories, you got a difference. 
That means I can drink this all day, whether I'm working, hanging with friends, or just chilling without feeling like I'm overloading on sugar. Oh, and there's no artificial flavors, sweeteners, or added colors. Just the good stuff that keeps me feeling my best no matter what the day throws at me. And you guys know how much I love something that's not only effective, but also clean. And Gatorade Hydration Booster checks all those boxes. Even just the other day, I threw one in my bag because I was gone literally all day. And it was so nice knowing that I had it. I felt so hydrated and just energized throughout the whole busy day. And by the time I came home at night, I still felt great. Like I didn't feel so drained. So if you've got a packed schedule and need hydration that can keep up, this is it. Put your water to work with Gatorade Hydration Booster and feel the difference. Put your water to work with Gatorade Hydration Booster. You can use code BOOST20 on Gatorade.com to try it for yourself for 20% off. Okay, let's talk about bras for a second. I think we can all agree finding the perfect bra, you know, it's not necessarily that easy. But let me tell you, the Skims Fits Everybody t-shirt bra, that's the real deal. That truly fits everybody. I have been wearing it nonstop and I'm seriously obsessed from the second I put it on. I can just tell it was it's built different. It's so lightweight and soft, but still gives me the support that I need. And it's just one of those bras that feels like second skin. It's so comfortable and I almost forget that I'm wearing it. What I love most about the Fits Everybody t-shirt bra is that it's totally seamless underclothes. Whether I'm filming, heading to meetings, or just running around errands, it gives me that smooth but lifted look under everything, whether it's t-shirts, tank tops, dresses, literally anything. But it's not just about the look, it's the comfort for me. I can wear this bra all day long and never feel uncomfortable. You know how some bras just start digging into your skin after a few hours and you're, you're sometimes left with even like marks or bruises? Not this one. It's so breathable, stretchy, which makes it perfect for long days when I'm bouncing from one thing to the next and the straps just stay in place. There's no slipping or adjusting every five minutes. This bra is made to fit everybody, but it feels personalized. Like it was tailored just for me. The fabric is so buttery soft and it moves with me no matter what I'm doing. And I love how I don't have to choose between comfort and style anymore because this bra gives me both. And of course, Skims nails it with their sizing. The Fits Everybody t-shirt bra and all of the bras on their site are available in 62 sizes from 30A all the way to 46H. So no matter what shape or size, there's definitely something for everyone. Really refreshing to see a brand that's so inclusive and just make sure everyone is covered literally covered. So if you're ready to upgrade your bra game and experience the perfect blend of comfort and style, you need to check out Skims. Head over to skims.com to shop the Fits Everybody t-shirt bra and more. And don't forget, after you place your order, let them know that we sent you, select podcast in the survey, and choose Pretty Basic from the drop down. Trust me, you'll never want to wear another bra again. If you're driving, pull the fuck over. Pull if the you're fuck doing over. anything else, stop what you're doing and listen. If you're in the, in the Southern California area, pull the fuck over and go to a sweet fin because <laughs> the Remy Cruz sweet fin bowl is officially available, everybody. Woo! Woo! I'm sorry, you so casually mentioned it to me like maybe a month ago. You're like, oh yeah, I'm doing a sweet fin bowl. I was like, I'm sorry, you're doing a what? I am doing a sweet fin collaboration bowl. If you like poke, even if you've never had poke, like sweet fin is so good and they they customize it however you want but you have your own it's like your own it's like chipotle but for a poke bowl and it's gonna say remy what's the name of it yes okay so it's the remy cruise bowl and i i love sweet fin i've been a fan for years it's like one of my favorite things i look forward to going to coachella so i can get a sweet fin bowl Mm -hmm. every single year um and it's really amazing they have nine locations amongst uh southern california area one in orange county a bunch in la and uh i was approached to do my own bowl which is so fun i've never done any in a restaurant before so very excited wait you know who's gonna be so triggered who Haley bieber smoothie (gasps) bitch wishes Mm -hmm. she wishes she could have fish (laughs) sorry girl (laughs) sorry strawberry glaze move over there's a new bitch in town they're making them in a fucking cauldron now have you seen it oh and did i have one yesterday yes it's so crazy they are just like scooping those out maybe one day but for now we're so happy with our sweet bin bowl so i was approached to do a bowl and they're like what do you want to do And I was like looking at their website, obviously, to see anything on the website, like ingredient wise, the ingredients that they already had. And then I did a call with the culinary director. Her name's Andrea. She's amazing. And she was like, oh, you can do like things that we don't have also. Like we can make things just for your bowl. And I was like, well, now that's so nice. The limit does not exist. Well, and what makes those exciting is when they're limited edition. It's like it's not just something you can get year round exactly like that it makes it more exciting to be like get it now while you can yeah yes and i did bring one for alicia to try <gasps> today i forgot i forgot, it's I in forgot. The fridge. Okay, you have to film it oh my god i'm so excited so i was like what do i want also like anything that i ever make i want people to like walk into a store or whatever and probably they probably won't know me but be like oh that sounds delicious regardless and so i was thinking what do i like and i love 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 obviously spicy tuna crispy rice is having a moment but 
if there is a menu with spicy salmon crispy rice or a salmon option, I'm going for salmon over tuna. So I decided to make my own version of a salmon crispy rice bowl. So we did a sushi rice base. There is a salmon mixed with a truffle spicy mayo delicious and they oh they don't normally have sushi rice so they made it just for my bowl I was gonna say that. yes thank you so much <laughs> i forgot and then they also um made an eel sauce i wanted to do eel sauce and she was like oh my god we've actually been wanting to make an eel sauce but like didn't have a reason for it so now they have a reason so you can get eel sauce on there it all comes pre-made um avocado in there cucumber in there there's a wasabi futakake don't worry you can take it off alicia and then um it's got crispy noodles on top i wanted to do Ugh. crispy rice but the rice they were having trouble batch making it and obviously there's gonna they're gonna be selling like hot cakes so they obviously. gotta be able to no i'm just well, kidding also, but it just didn't stay fresh all day and we needed it to stay fresh all day well i'm thinking that must have been a struggle i mean it sounded like it it was really smooth and seamless but to think about m like mass producing certain things it's not like you're just making it one meal at a time in a restaurant like to have things and i the, worked the, the last... line this morning did you really i worked it i made bowls oh my god that was me at extreme pita it was mm -hmm. very I, I mean i understand like the line process it was very interesting they were all very sweet do you see though how now like it's so like especially when you're wondering about what to have for lunch you're like let me try this in there like you're like that's i think working in the food industry i think shaped my palate now for how like creative I can be. Cause I'm yeah. like, I have these things in front of me. Like what's different I can that make, makes you sense. know what I mean? Or like I could see something like a barbecue chicken pizza. Oh. Like that was born because someone was in a kitchen at Yep. A line cook being like, what if I just put barbecue sauce hear me on out. it? You know what well, I mean? Well, barbecue. Also, we well, did do the hear me out. It's creative. <gasps> totally. We did do the hear me out cake. We did do the hear me out cake. But like question. Yeah. Was it like people that we were like wanting to, or was it just people we found hot? It's no, or the like, whole yeah, it can be as like surfacey or as deep as you want in that way. It's more well, of just like unconventional characters. Like, hear me out. This may not be the first choice that people are like, this person's so hot, this character's no. so hot. And I see that. But were we going for people to, or were we going for, were we going for people that we just thought were like, oh, like, you know, hear me out. They're kind of hot. Cause you and I didn't discuss what we were going for beforehand. You're and, so right. Um, I fear. Well, what did we you do? We might have not been on the same page. I was just like, oh, like, cute. Like, cute. you know, like, yeah. oh, think like about the eagle. Them. Yeah. That, but yeah, like the Lorax that I put on there. I was like, I'm not trying to fuck the Lorax. <laughs> but I do fear that people were like thinking that I meant like, hear me out. Let's fuck. I think, look, here's the thing. It's up for debate. It's whatever you want it to be. Mm -hmm. And either way is fine. Okay. We're not, we're not shaming anyone here. No. At all. No, 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 oh. no, no, no. I meant more of like you and I weren't on the same page, but we were doing the same video. So like, I was uh, like, oh, we probably should have like discussed. I, ju I think I kind of, I, I really tried to think like when I had Johnny Depp from Willy Wonka, like that was a specific moment where I was like, oh my God, I have a crush on him from that movie. No, I totally so I was understand. like, hear me out. Do you ever hear people be like, oh, Johnny Depp and Willy Wonka, but no, but you know, I'm not the only one. So were you thinking like, just like hear me out or were you thinking like i'm like hear, hear me, me out, out. That's hear me out. see that's what i was saying hear. we were playing on two different we were playing two different games we were speaking two different languages but still it was iconic well the only difference is again you being taken probably changes that um hearing out you mm, know yes okay i'm glad we're on there <laughs> like he's cute. i mean i did have gerald <laughs> oh did you see the tiktok someone made i sent it to you no i sent it to you oh my god i sent it to you um it was someone tagged me and they're like, LOMAO, Alicia, this is for you. And like someone had made a whole edit about Gerald. And I was like, oh like my a, God, my people. Like a thirst edit for it him? It wasn't a thirst edit, but it wasn't, it was just like, he's the man kind of vibe. Okay. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. I'll refine it. There's a club you. for him. There's a club. I and someone that. was like, we need our own Gerald story. And I was like, oh my God, yes. Gerald like, Pixar story. needs, Gerald oh, needs his do. own movie. His origin story. Yes. How did he get there? Like that would actually, Where did the I bucket think come that from? would do so yes the but maybe that's his emotional support bucket i think it was ah! he was very sweet all in all gerald from finding nemo if anyone is confused finding dory so, finding dory so sorry mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um anyway wow another tiktok actually we came across recently which literally made me cry was a really cute fan edit of mr me ashton and i and I got tagged in it so much. I always love when like, I'll like go to my mentions or like my notifications and it's like a million people tagging me in the same video yeah. that I can tell from the little thumbnail. And I was yeah. like, 
it's always like, uh oh, like you never know what it is. You no, know what I mean? I stay out of my mentions. I'm gonna be so <laughs> honest. I stay out of my mentions. I was like, oh, a lot of people are like saying this one, so I'm like, okay, I should watch it. And then I watch it, and it literally was the cutest thing about our friendship. Shout out to Where's Junior Mint. We love you so much. We really sorry, appreciate it. This. We appreciate it so much. No, it really was like fan edits take so much time and like are they're just they're little works of art and they're so sweet and so flattering and we just are really grateful so thank you also i feel like back in the day on instagram like you couldn't share videos like easily or like put them on your stories back in the like and now with tiktok it's so easy just like repost like yeah. i love seeing them and it's like so sweet and so cute and they do take a long time also you're a great editor I'm like, do you have a resume? <laughs> no, oh, incredible editor. Yeah. The, the one of Cal and I too. So cute. No, it was, they're just so sweet and we really appreciate it. Um, and the Zalisha ones are also really good. Wait, if you had a fan page when you were younger, please tell us what it was. <gasps> we know you had Jesse McCartney one, right? Oh, me? Didn't you? Um, That was just my email. Oh, so sorry to assume. <laughs> I don't think I, no, no. I think up here I did. I don't think I ever ran like a fan account. Like they're the true MVPs. Oh no, they're the backbone of this com of this country. No, of Remy, this community, of the, the way world. that like you're not even exaggerating. No, I know the world keeps spinning because of them. The world is just a little brighter because of them. I agree. I really do and feel they need, that way. They need their moment. I agree. And I love in the Zalisha ones when I get tagged and they're like, Remy, <laughs> you have to see that. I see them. <laughs> they make their way to me. Don't you worry. It's called for you, Paige. <laughs> okay, now where are we going? <laughs> so back to the edit of us. We just <laughs> talking about us the whole time. I can't take us seriously <laughs> at all. So I wanted to talk about this because the I saw the edit. Alicia sent it to me, cried, sobbed, so sweet, and the edit itself was so beautiful. And then what the cherry on top was the comments. And they were so genuinely sweet. And we just wanted to say thank you because I don't know. It's it like, I, I literally have to put these headphones on because when I didn't have the headphones on earlier, I feel like I, I don't know. I just feel like a, a, an out of body experience, but I often will like sit on this couch, especially with the headphones. Cause again, I just tune mm -hmm. in, it's you and me. I forget that people watch this podcast. Yeah. I forget that like anybody knows anything about us. I yeah. know that sounds really dumb, but like you get it. It's a universal experience as a creator. Also with your best friend. I think it's a different, yes. it, I think it's a different dynamic with like a co-host that you're friends, but it's more of like a work situation mm -hmm. versus a best friend because we just talk about so many random things that we would talk about off camera too. For sure. The same and vice things. versa. The yeah, same yeah, yeah, exact yeah. stuff. So I think that is also another, I mean, anyone else who, has a podcast with her best friend probably gets it because it's just it's just a different dynamic it's just like it's easy in so many ways it's hard in a lot of ways in like ways that i'm sure people who are just uh regular friends or just co-hosts yeah um don't experience but at the same time like it's obviously like the best thing in the world and i just the comments were a so sweet but also b i don't know i had this out of body experience where i was like oh my god they see us and they know so much more about us than like I realized, which I know that sounds dumb, but my favorite comment on there was like, I, I just love that they were there for each other when they both needed each other most. And that's like literally, oh my God, not me. I'm not, I don't wanna cry, but like, that is the most true statement for our friendship that like we always talk about. But I just thought it was so beautiful that like, People saw that. I thought that was so cool. And it just got me thinking like how, and I, I just, I love that people can also tell that we're actually, like there were comments also that were like, they're, I love that they're actually friends. I love that they're like, you can tell it's a real genuine friendship, which makes me want to You know cry. what? You probably saw it too. It made me like so emo. It was weird. Cause someone was like, wait, sorry. I don't know. Like, who are these two girls? <laughs> who the fuck are they? <laughs> who the fuck are they? And then the replies to that were like, oh my God, it's Remy and Ali. And I was like, well, it's so weird seeing people talk about us in that way. Like yeah. obviously on our own stuff, it's different, but like seeing on a, like an edit like that and then all of it just being like positive and stuff. I was just like, wow, this is so crazy. It was really um, nice. I think what also stood out to me with that was how long people said they've watched us. Crazy. And that like made me, speaking of me being in my grateful moments lately, I was just like, wow, I'm so grateful. People have allowed us to also grow up with them mm -hmm. and grow into, <laughs> sorry, it's so weird saying lovely young women as we're sitting here <laughs> wearing this. <laughs> such mature, beautiful women. Yes, we've all grown into <laughs> such lovely adults, haven't we? Um, No, but truly, um, 
Yeah, because we were like we were literally in high school when we started, and now like being able to like grow up and people allowing us to change and grow and like make mistakes and yeah, um, absolutely and just learn who we are and stuff like that meant a lot. Yeah, um, and still does. It's oh yeah, it's still it means a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was really cute. It just meant a lot. Like just I think I had this moment where I, I just felt so much love, and again I feel like we talk about we're literally wearing sunny angel costumes and like we talk about dumb shit on here but the fact that people can like see through that and still see us meant more than i ever knew yeah. it was just really special i just wanted to say thank you and shout out to mary who we met at trader joe's the other day yes. she was like she's been watching forever too it's like it's just crazy like how long we've all grown up together now oh my god point. speaking of when when we met her i remember <laughs> i haven't been in my head at all lately i was in my head and i I had the thought and I was like, oh my God, I hope pe people always come up. And I feel like lately they've been saying it more like, I don't want to bother you. And I'm like, no, no, like you never bother us. No. Like I, I'm always get nervous that I'm not like if, when I get in my head and I get anxious and overthink that, like, it's not a good experience for that. And I know that's not yeah. the case, but I'm always like, I've just met people and have been let down. So I think in my head, if I start feeling quiet or I'm like oh my god did I talk enough did I not like was I nice enough like was like like I'm just like oh my god like yeah. I hope I and then once I start it's hard to get out of that mindset once I start it so then once I start second guessing I'm like oh no I'll be in the moment and I already am like feel out of body and I'm like Same. oh my god I'm so I'm like but sometimes I'm so fine so I don't know it's just such a weird dynamic but it, like seriously I'm never annoyed I'm like thank you so much because like you're the reason why we're here lol absolutely I feel the same way where I always like I want to give people the experience that they've they want and that they've anticipated like obviously they've watched us and I'm probably like oh my god if I ever meet them one day like and they're expecting us to be one way and I want to give that to them I just don't know what they're expecting and I also I'm always nice I always try my best to be nice of uh, course no you're you're literally always nice <laughs> but I also I'm just like I hope I'm being nice enough I hope I'm being like cheery enough I hope that I and also I'm like I don't know how long they want to talk to me I don't know if they want to stand there all day and chat or yeah. if they want to just like <laughs> take a photo I don't know if they want a photo like I just always want to make it like the best experience yeah. for them and then they leave and literally the first thing I say to Kels or whoever I'm with was I nice like, I just want to make sure I'm always nice. No, I, and like, I give them a good time. No. Yeah. My biggest thing is like, again, I've been let down by people and it's, and again, I get it. Like I get it. Like not everyone's in like a good mood or like, you know, there's different times, but obviously if I'm, there was only one time I remember I was sobbing and someone came up and asked for a photo Same. and I was like, I, like, this is a moment where I would want to say no, but it's also not worth it to me. Cause I'm like, I just like, who can like, just yeah, sure. I'm like, oh, sorry. Let me just wipe my damn tears. Like, I remember I was like unwell and I was so sad. And I was like, I had like gotten into a fight with someone and then I was crying and then they asked for a photo. And I was like, oh my God, this, that was probably the only time I was like, I would rather not be here right now. I feel that. I had the exact same thing happen to me, actually. Literally really? exact same thing. Wait. Were we both crying at the same festival? Probably. <laughs> same day. Were we in a fight? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no mine wasn't with you. No, yeah, but funny. I do remember that. And I felt really badly, but I was just like, I was going through it. No, but truly like, it. please, like you can always come up and say something. Overall, the TikTok was just very, very sweet. We wanted to say thank you. And it just got me thinking about how grateful I am for you and our love and our friendship and just all the lovely things. That means so much. It's crazy because I, I've said this before, but I remember after going through like a breakup and feeling like I had no friends feel knowing deep in my soul that I haven't even met all of my best friends in my life and they're out there somewhere in the world and that was such a weird concept to me because at the time I had I'm not gonna say no one because I did have like some friends and family around obviously but it felt very lonely and yeah. like I had no one mm -hmm. and it was just so weird because I knew it would happen and then now it's just, it's insane because I can't even imagine my life before us being friends. I know. I, you've talked about that before, how you had like a conscious thought at some point in your life. Like I haven't even met all my best friends yet. And I've never thought about it like that, but it's true. Well, cause it's weird. Cause we always like, obviously growing up, you, you always think of your future partner, your future husband, your future wife, but you never like think of like, oh, who's my future best friend going to yeah. be? Or even like, you know how our kids are going to have friends and like, we're, we'll probably be friends with their friends' parents. For sure. That's and that's like so mom friends. Crazy. Yes. So true. It's so weird. Or what if we hate them? <gasps> Drama. Just kidding. Drama alert. But like, it's just, it's still like, there's other people. <laughs> Trouble on the playground. It's crazy. You know, it's really true. And I love, I love thinking that way. And I feel like a lot of people, I saw even comments on the TikTok. They were like, I, I miss my Alicia. Like they're not friends anymore. Or I can't wait to meet my Alicia or meet my Remy or I miss my Remy. And I think that it's a really good, th good thing to remember that A, 
just because like I grew up, I've talked about this a lot. Like I didn't have a best friend for like a lot of my, like I had a lot of friends, but I was always like the odd one out in a group, literally like of odd numbers. So I was always the odd one out. I always felt really left out. It wasn't until I was like 15 that I felt like I had a real like best friend when I got to like, honestly, like middle school and a middle school, high school. And I was always just so sad because I always wanted to, like, I wanted that best friendship yeah. and I just didn't have it. And a lot of people experience that. So like, I think it's a good thing to remember whether you're young right now, or maybe you're older, maybe you just had a friendship breakup. Like it's, it, everybody goes through those mm -hmm. things and it's, it's just a part of life and your people are out there and people come into your life sometimes for a reason or a season and that's okay. I will say, I know I keep talking about this TikTok, but I'm just telling you, like, it just really, it hit me in a way that, I don't know, I just wasn't expecting. You know, the other day when we were at Traders, another girl came up and she po points to her friend. And she's like, that's my Alicia. Yeah. And it's so, it's so cute. Cause even if she said, that's my best friend, like her saying that's my Alicia, like we just know. No, I'm literally like, oh, she bitch, said I get that. It. And I was like, oh, wait, Yeah, no, I like, it makes me that. extra happy. No, I think Cause I'm like, wait, I get it. It's true. And I feel like I, I think why it's just hitting me so hard is like, again, podcast aside, like videos aside, like we are just very, like it's, everything is authentically us. Mm -hmm. And so we don't think about like doing things for the cameras or like, I don't think about how people are going to perceive this episode. I really don't. Cause yeah. I'm just sitting here talking to yeah. you. So I think that's why it hit me so hard that people like see that stuff. And for yeah. instance, again, I know people were like, I, they like found each other when they needed each other most. Like I was going through a friendship breakup. You were going through a friendship breakup. And like one specific time that sticks out to me that I like, I don't know. I took it for granted at the moment. Cause like I just really needed someone there and you happened to be there when I was hysterically crying and like on the floor, sobbing, throwing up and you were there and I just appreciated having anyone there, but then to look back and like have you be that person there slash also like that just is who you are. Like, and I didn't even know at the time just means a lot. And I'm like, very grateful. I like us, not us like being so Ew. savvy. I'm sorry. Oh my, especially looked like, like, I, know. Like this. You know what I, mean? I don't know <laughs> if I'm even articulating myself well, but it's just like, I, I can put myself back in that sadness that I felt. And I like re literally remember like looking and you were just holding me and grabbing me tissues and eating chicken tenders. <laughs> and like, it's just like, and feeding me fries. And like, I was so just us. like, she's so nice. And like, wow, what a, what a nice person. But little did I know, like, what you were going to mean to me. No, that, fast forward. You, does that yeah. make any sense? No, no, no. It makes complete okay. sense because I experience it from the opposite side too. Yeah. I feel like luckily when you're that sad, broken, or like you're going through it, what makes it such a special time is because it puts you in situations you wouldn't normally be in. And when you're out of your comfort zone, like that's when you are able to have, speaking of a new perspective, like you have a new perspective of what you thought your life was going to be like. And usually when someone leaves, whether it's like a relationship or a friendship or whatever, it makes you, it forces you to have a new perspective, Yeah. even though you don't want to have a new perspective. But then because of that, it's, you're able to be like, oh, wow. Like this person who maybe I only go to the gym with or meet up every now and then is like actually listening to me in a way that I haven't felt listened to in a really long time. For oh my sure. God. I feel like I can open up to them. Yeah. But if you were to go back to like the same people you always, I don't know, like, I feel like that's, what's so beautiful about being broken and going through breakups, whether platonic or relation, relational, <laughs> romantically. Romantic. <laughs> I said it so good until I did Relational. It. Relational. <laughs> um, yeah. It's a very exciting time of like not knowing, of going into the unknown and yeah. not knowing what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's, it's, it's hard, but it's really exciting. But yeah, like you said, now it's weird looking back at those earlier moments and not realizing it was you the whole I time. Know. Like, it's really cool. It's so, <laughs> it's really an out of body experience yeah. over and over again. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but it's so true. It's, it is hard to articulate. It's funny but, though. Um, I know, I hope that we're making sense, but it's just, it's just silly. And it's just interesting because like, people that aren't online or doing this as a job, obviously everybody has these best friend moments. Like that's, mm -hmm. it's, it's normal. Like your best friend should do that for you, but it's not like people are watching and like, and seeing it come together. I think that's, what's really cool in the same way that people have grown up with us. They've seen our friendship mm -hmm. from before we were friends yeah. to meeting to becoming best friends and, and now lifers and now, and sisters, sisters for life. Me forcing her to call me her sister. Sister, <laughs> sister for life. <laughs> I am always on the lookout for ways to save some money while still shopping at my favorite places, especially with the holidays coming up, which I can't believe it's almost that time of the year. So let me put you onto something that's going to make your holiday shopping and shopping in general so much better, Rakuten. I started using Rakuten for all of my online shopping recently, 
And it is so easy. All you do is shop just like you normally would, whether it's for beauty, clothes, home stuff, whatever. And Rakuten gives you cash back for your purchases. I honestly didn't believe it at first, but then I saw my cash back balance growing and I was like, wait, why was I not using this the whole time? I could have really been saving. So I obviously had to tell you guys too, so we can all save a little coin. And with the holidays right around the corner, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, you know, we're all going to be doing a ton of shopping. Rakuten is the smartest way to save money because not only can you stack all those holiday sales, but Rakuten gives you cash back on top of that. I'm talking up to 15% cash back at hundreds of stores. You guys, I already got my list ready to go for places like Sephora, Ulta, Anthropology, and even Target. It is the hack for holiday shopping. And it's not just for fashion and beauty. Rakuten works with stores in pretty much every category, home decor, electronics, groceries, even travel. So whether you're shopping for gifts or just treating yourself, they've got you covered. Also, in case you're confused, here is how it works. Stores pay Rakuten to send them shoppers and Rakuten turns around and shares that money with you as cash back. It's like you're getting rewarded for something you're already doing. They even search coupon codes. So it's like having your own personal shopper who's also a money saving genius. So if you haven't already signed up, what are you waiting for? Seriously, it's free to join and it's so easy. Just head over to Rakuten.com or download the Rakuten app and you can start earning cash back on everything from your holiday gifts to your everyday essentials. Remember, this is the time of year when Rakuten's cash back rates are at their highest, so you don't want to miss out. Start your shopping with Rakuten, save big and happy shopping. This episode of Pretty Basic is brought to you by IQ Bar. Okay, so you guys know how much of a snacker I am. I have to tell you about my favorite new snack obsession, IQ Bar. These bars seriously keep me going throughout the day, whether I'm running from a workout to recording PB or just trying to keep my energy up when that afternoon slump hits. I love that IQ Bar isn't just a snack. It refuels and nourishes me without any sugar crash, which we love. It's packed with brain nutrients and it actually satisfies my hunger and no weird ingredients, just super clean, low sugar, and so delicious. Also, Alicia and I are headed to the Dear Media IRL event so soon, and you guys know it's going to be amazing. Tons of pop-ups, panels, networking, but I already know that IQ Bar is going to save us for those super fun but super long days. They'll have a sponsored snack station, and I'm so ready to grab their protein-packed bars. You guys know I love a protein bar. I'm always trying to get my protein in, and I love something on the go. I also love their IQ Joe Hazelnut Blend. It is delicious. Also, they have fall flavors. If you are a pumpkin spice girly, they have limited edition pumpkin spice. It's back. If you love pumpkin spice, you're going to love it. Start your day off right with IQ Bar's brain and body boosting bars, hydration mixes, and their mushroom coffees. They've even got an ultimate sampler pack so you can try all three. Also, all their products are gluten-free, dairy-free, and have zero GMOs or artificial sweeteners. They come in nine flavors, but my favorite are mint chocolate chip, lemon blueberry, and banana nut. And right now, IQ Bar is hooking up all of our Pretty Basic listeners with 20% off all products plus free shipping. To get 20% off, just text BASIC to 64000. That's BASIC to 64000 to get 20% off and free shipping on your order. Go fuel your brain and body with IQ Bar. Like we were both going through friendship breakups at the time, which obviously was just like uh, something really hard going through individually. And also to the have first someone there. few times it happens in your life, it's like, it's always hard, but it's even more devastating. As you get older, you realize that some people do just come in and out of your life and that it is normal. But when you're young, it uh, like you, you haven't fully comprehended that idea yet. Yeah. And that's why it hits so hard. And that's totally normal. Another thing that obviously bonds friendships, though, is heartbreaks. And me, my heartbreaks mm-hmm. and just all that stuff. And I was really going through it when I met Alicia and you were my my. Um, Emotional support bucket. Emotional support bucket. (laughs) My ride or die. My enabler for sure. And it's just so much fun. It's so much fun to go through that. I know you mean that in a great way, but it sounds horrible. Oh, she was absolutely my enabler, but in the best way. And like we learned from it. Maybe he's changed. Text him. Maybe he just like forgot his phone. Yeah, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. It's okay, (laughs) but it's just it's so funny to look back on on those Mm -hmm. times now. And so I, one of my friends texted me the funniest thing ever. And I have to read this to you guys. And she told me, oh, she just literally texted me. She told me I could share this because it is so funny. And it reminded me of back when I was going through it and you were really, um, you know, you were my ride or die and you're just like, girl, yes. I'm like, which way we steer in the boat? Yeah. You, we texted <laughs> Tell me him which today. Way you want to go. Do we hate him today? Do we not? Yeah. And I love that. And, um, there was one story that I've told on the podcast where I think that guy didn't text me for like three weeks and mm-hmm. I had a photo of us together. And I was like, Fuck yeah. him. Oh my God. And so I started burning it. Mm-hmm. And as I was mid burning it and I was over my, my sink, metal sink, I guess it doesn't matter what kind of sink, <laughs> unless it's a wood sink, I'm burning it. And he, his, his face is literally engulfed in flames. All of a sudden I hear, ding. I look at my phone. And you know, you know, when you, you know, when it's the person you want to text, you just 
fucking no. That I also was crazy enough to give him his own text message. So I knew when it was worth getting out of the shower for. And uh, I hear that, whatever it was. And I like scream and I blow out the fire as fast as I can. You're like, I'm a witch. No, literally. <laughs> My, my witch powers came to work. And um, I just thought that was like such a funny story. And so, and we went through that together, obviously. When you're down bad, you are just- You're you reaching don't think, for anything. You don't think right. You don't think right. We do stupid stuff for love. <gasps> and um, yeah, I remember when I was down bad, I everybody kept telling me like, like write a letter and go to the ocean and release it. Littering. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just- <laughs> clean the oceans don't put shit in the oceans write it and like throw it away shred shred it i hear you i think it was like go have a bonfire in the beach right no someone told me to release it in the water i was like no and then i never did it but it's also i was thinking about this the other day like i was just like i put myself back in that sadness of like when i thought that like i needed to go write like a a letter and like ship it out to sea like to get over it Time really just heals everything. Speaking of time being a fragment of our imagination and all of us a social construct, mm-hmm. um, it does help. You know, it does help. It really help does. When you realize like, wow, I didn't think I'd like be able to live past this. And now here I am and I'm fine. The world will keep spinning. Speaking of people doing dumb shit, I know this came out a while ago, but I just came across it on TikTok myself. And I went down a, I went down, I went down, I went down. Did you hear about like the Chase Bank glitch? No. This is proof that we need to do a better job in society educating everyone because not everything you see online is real, as we should know. Some people don't know. Apparently there was this, what people said were a glitch and they were like, oh my God, if you, I found out a way to get free money from the bank. (laughs) You have to take like a voided check or like a, a bad check or like, sorry, any check and write, but from yourself, but write it to yourself. And if you take your check, and normally if you go to the bank and deposit it, they take it out of your savings or like your checking account, the account right away. However, if it's after hours and at an ATM, the bank will front you that money that you're cashing in good faith that the check you sent in is gonna be accepted. Right? Is that really how it works? I don't think that's that's real, right? Yeah, yeah. So how it really happens is if you take a check and you walk into the teller and hand them the check, they will take that money out of your account right away and give you the, in exchange for the check, the money. But if you do it at an ATM, cause obviously it's an ATM, specifically after hours, what happens is the, the ATM will give you money, but it still needs time to process that check from whoever that check's from, right? So people online thought they hacked the system and said, let me write a check to myself for however much money, five grand, 10 grand, et cetera, whatever. Deposit it into an ATM, they get the money. You can Google the whole thing because I went down a rabbit hole. People were doing that thinking they were getting free money because they they didn't have that, they didn't have that money. So they would, they basically would go back into the ATM and they're like, hi, I wanna like pull out this money. And then they're like, yay, look it, we got free money. And then they would brag about it on TikTok saying they like got free money because they thought that there was this window where you could do this and get X amount of free money. So people are doing this and they're making TikToks about it being like, oh my God, there's a glitch in the system. Here's how you can get free money from Chase. Then Chase starts retweeting things and like reposting stuff being like, this is not a glitch. This is- Is it their money that they're pulling so out? So Chase literally puts out a statement and is like, um, FYI, there is no glitch. This is, this is wiring fraud. Like this is an actual thing that's been going on for years that people like, but it's a thing and you can go to prison if you like specifically over, I want to say it was like $10,000. You will go to prison for fraud. And people are on TikTok being like, look at go get free money. <laughs> Wait, I'm just like confused why it like, isn't it the next morning when the check processes, aren't they able to tell they came from their account? So then they're yes, that's in the, the negative. But then they go in and they're like, oh my God, I must've been hacked or something. Like it says negative $5,000. And then the bank, because they're a literal federal bank is like, hi, we have a, ch- it says it was the checked, check. this was bounced. They have the check. And now they're in debt because it's like, well, until you pay back those funds. Yeah, absolutely. Because you pulled out the cash. Yeah, yeah. People thought it was like a trend on TikTok to get free money. <sighs> I think the problem is like fact checking. And I think it's a good lesson here to remember that not everything you see online is real. 
And, you know, maybe we've made some mistakes in this podcast. We like misspoke, maybe even telling this story. I said some wrong, small little facts or details. There's never free money in life. We'll just talk about that. And then on top of it, like, the, this is a federal government. Like all the, the bank has your information. Do they not know? Like there's a lot of personal information on a check that they're putting their name on no, that they, that has their name on it that they're putting into the And then the it's ATM. like, you're going to deny that you signed your own check to no, you. No, like that's just, uh, and there's security footage of you probably no, at the ATM yeah, putting every, it in. Every ATM has cameras. Um, that one, I am no comment. No. I have no comment. No comment. I, last night I, I was like, I'm going to go to bed early, didn't. We spent an hour finding it because some people, so many people are making fun of others being like, oh my God, I thought if I pulled out like making like of the whole situation and I was like, there's no way this is real. So I kept looking and looking and then I was like, this is obviously like, they, Chase literally was reposting people's TikToks being like, this is not a glitch. Like this isn't, I don't know what you're thinking. So crazy. I've also seen a lot of TikToks online of people specifically at Target getting arrested. They um, will watch on the cameras in the security office and you have, to, I think it's $2,500. You have to steal an X amount of merchandise before you can be arrested. So they'll watch you and even on multiple trips, like it doesn't have to be all in one trip. So if you steal like $300 this day, $500 that next day, and then um, $1,800 or whatever it is, like the last day, boom, on that third day, you're arrested. And Isn't that crazy? Yeah. We have been informed that it's more than $950. Makes it a felony. Makes it a felony. So they'll wait for so you to target, hit that. Wait. And it kind of makes sense because like, if the, I don't think they would be able to like get every single person, like who like a kid who steals a candy bar. Oh my God. When you were little, I remember one time I accidentally like had a candy bar or something. I, th I don't even know what it was, a toy or a candy bar. And like, I, I didn't put it down and I walked out and I saw it and I was like, oh my God. I was like, Mom. like I was crying. I thought I was going to get arrested. And my mom like made it a lesson. And she was like, go put it, like, go say your star. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I was like, I didn't mean to. Like, I was like, I really didn't mean to. Even for me, like when I'm at the store, I literally went to Home Goods the other day and I picked up some stuff, but I was like, oh, I don't need a cart. I'm not going to get a lot. And then I got a lot. And so I like was holding a lot. And I was like, oh, I should get a cart now. And the carts were like, near the front door, not outside, but near the front door, but so much where I was like, well, I don't want them to think that I'm stealing anything. <laughs> so I put it, I like made sure all the workers saw me put it yeah. down Which, by the honestly, front to go get the cart to come back and to put it back in the car. What's funny is that's kind of more suspicious when you're like, look at me, I'm putting it back. Look, don't worry. <laughs> it's like, I'm oh, the same way. I have to tell a story too, but I'm so sorry. Oh no, no. Continue but on. the way I found out about this Target thing is because it happened to my friend because of her ex-husband, which he was crazy, compulsive liar. Okay. She used to cut my hair. So like, we were like really good friends and I would see her pretty regularly, obviously. Um, and I would always like hear updates or whatever. And he always struggled keeping a job. And I just remember being like, oh my God, I feel like I feel for him so much. I feel like he's like just had it hard in life. Like he can't really like, you know, he's like trying to like different avenues and different things and whatever. One time he said he had a Disney internship, right? And he was like in his like late twenties at this point. I was like, oh my, we were, we were so happy. We were like, whatever. He always just had like kind of weird vibes, but I just thought it was, he was just more shy and introverted and stuff. Um, he also always struggled to keep a job. Like he would find one and then it would be gone. So while, you know, I'm getting my hair done, you know, she's telling me like, oh my God, he got a job. We're so excited. Like we really think this one's it. Like this is going to be his career. Um, and then a few months later, he'd be like, no, it didn't, it didn't work out, whatever. Um, but then finally I remember he had this Disney internship that wasn't paid, but they're like, this is really good. Like get his foot in the door and everything. Um, turns out he lied about everything. And this is how she found out that her husband was lying for years about the jobs that he had. He never had jobs. He would go to a bar and get drunk every day. No. He, there was no Disney internship. And the more I thought about it, I was like, that makes so much more sense. Cause I feel like, Dis like it just makes more sense, right? Then on top of it, the way he had money is he would go to Target and steal stuff. Oh, and then sell it. And then it. sell it. <gasps> and then he finally got caught from Target and he got arrested. So she gets a call. Oh my Hi, God. I'm in Target prison. Basically, I mean, they have like, a, they actually like do all that. And then she was like, wait, wait, what? And then Target's like, yeah, not only that, he's, we've been watching him for months. And I was like, holy shit, this is crazy. He probably just, every time I was like, I got away with it. I got away with it. Like he had no yeah. idea. <gasps> crazy. But he also like, he cheated on her and all this other stuff too. So he's a piece of shit. But all of that to say, that was my first time finding out about Target and their system and how they do it. And I just remember being like, wait, what? Like, how do you, how do you lie and go get drunk every single day and then like go steal stuff? And then she, obviously they called her 
Oh. Can you imagine getting that call? That's crazy. Not, I'm not going to say I don't wish him well because I truly hope he's better, but like, I don't really wish him well. And that's okay. I am curious if they're going to make a lot of changes though, because obviously now this coming like new information, I, I don't like, I think they lowered it even, not the felony charge. The felony charge obviously is like over a thousand or something like that. Um, I watched this like eight part series though from a body cam footage of this girl, like trying to get out of it being like, uh, I just, can I go like, I need to let my dog out. I'll I come back. Too. I watched that too. <laughs> and I was like, she's not coming back. Like, <laughs> let what? her go. Oh my just God. Just let her go. Okay, okay. I, I can't believe I didn't think to tell this story. I dropped you off the other day after we went to Trader Joe's and I wanted to go to Michael's. Yeah. And I ended up having to get off the freeway early and I passed to Michael's. So I was like, it's fine, I'll go to Michael's. So I stopped in you guys. I was getting, I needed to get glitter and glue and some flowers because watch tomorrow's episode of Basically Unfiltered. We are dressing up as the sweet life of Zach and Cody. We are. Finally, my life goal of dressing up as London Tipton has come <laughs> true. We have said that we wanted to be London and Maddie for years and it's finally happening. And so I needed to go get my glitter and my glue. And so I walk in, la, 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 la. I'm like, I'm gonna get a cart because I don't want to hold stuff. So I go and I turn to go get a cart and there's this man who's, at the cart section, like it's very small. Michael's only has like 10 carts, not less than that, like five carts. And so he's trying to take stuff out of the cart. And it's like, he has like a helmet and it's like, it's all jammed in the cart. And he's like pulling, pulling, pulling. I was like, oh, let me help you. So I go over and I'm like, I'm him. sorry. My mind just <laughs> no, went somewhere. Alicia. I'm not going to ruin it. No, Alicia. I help him get the stuff out. He doesn't say thank you. So fine. It's fine. Don't worry. I didn't do much. Isn't it funny though, when you do like a good Samaritan deed and you're like waiting for like the thank you. You're and then, welcome. then you don't get it. And you're like, <laughs> I was just like, I'm more, I wasn't like upset. I was just like, oh, okay. Like whatever. Like, I know. It's I, know fine. I was like, like, I'll just take his cart. So you he, save someone's he's cat. Like, and then you're like, oh my God. Like um, our friend that saved that celebrity's dog and they didn't say thank you. Yes. Literally. Anyways. So this man is goom, 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 trying to pull it out really fast. I was like, oh my God, let me help you. So I'm like holding the cart so he can get it out. He pulls it out, runs. Beep, 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 beep. Remy, no, <laughs> no. You assisted in a burglary? I ate it in a bed in a, in a burglary. You. Officer. <laughs> Officer, you have to understand. He went that way. You have to understand. I didn't mean to. Remy. I know. All the workers were like Wait, looking. so he stole the helmet? No, he had like stuff in a in a bag, but his helmet was was like, cause those carts are small. The helmet was like uh, keeping the bag from coming Remy. out. So. You know how like there's little moments where you're like, wow, that was a God moment. He purposely made something get stuck. So this guy would get caught maybe, you know what I mean? Um, and here you, let me help you, sir. Uh, he, <laughs> he looked like he was struggling and he was. And he was, I'm sure he was, wow. I know, isn't that so, that literally just happened. I dropped you off and then that happened. I was like, not my Wait, circus, not they, my monkeys. If stores went after every little thing like that, like I'm sure, it kind of makes sense target situation. They seemed also just confused because all the no one like chased him. The workers all were just like, what just happened? Also safety. Like if I was a worker, like obviously like I want to grab the stuff, but like with safety, I would just be like, take that shit. Well, like it's not the, worth the it. The biggest thing you could steal at Michael's is like a cricket machine. True. So I, and I didn't see. Oh my God. I even got a notification that um, people stole like thousands of dollars worth at Sephora. I feel like Sephora is a big one. And it's really like, that's so scary. All to say. Officer, she didn't mean it. <laughs> it was so funny. You I was assisted like, in a burglary. I was like, uh, anyways, and I just kept took the car and I walked away. <laughs> you go back to the stash of stuff you put down, <laughs> and then you look even more suspicious. You're like, look, rest. I put all of this down here. I didn't take anything. It wasn't me. I would love to see that that footage. The footage. <laughs> That's wild. I have so many thoughts. I love how the first half of this episode was like so deep. This is so our friendship. We're like so deep. We're crying. We love each other. And then it's like, oh my God, did you hear about this? Mama, I'm in love with the criminal. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, I think if we could wrap up this whole episode and say the moral of the story. Yes. Is if you do not go to Sweet Finn and get the Remy Cruz bowl. Oh. <laughs> You'll be sent yeah, to Target, target jail. jail. Thank you so much. I actually forgot to finish my thoughts. I just want to say thank you guys so much because obviously <laughs> I would not get these cool opportunities <laughs> if it weren't for you guys. Thank you for the sweet edits. Truly from the bottom of our heart. We really, we really appreciate it. The sweet edits. The, the sweet, sweet DMs. edits. Thank you for watching. Make sure you have a lovely and safe Halloween season and Halloween weekend. Yes. And um, don't drink and drive. Drink responsibly. And we love you so much. And, and we'll catch you later. Comment below what you're being for Halloween. Yeah. Or the fall festival, if that's what you celebrate. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>